The National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, has released a report on mental illness in the criminal justice system. The purpose is to create opportunity for healing in the court system. And here to explain is Alex James with NAMI Chicago. Good morning to you, Alex. Nice to have you. Hi, Sylvia. Nice to be with you. So tell me about this report and what your purpose was. Well, NAMI Chicago responds to the needs of community. And for many, many, many years, we understand that the criminal court system has participated in, you know, really exacerbating the trauma of an individual who's experiencing mental illness. In fact, we know that people with mental illnesses are often criminalized for behaviors and have a much higher rate of interfacing with law enforcement in the court system. We had a really um, incredible and inspiring woman that we worked very intimately with and in trying to get her out of the criminal court system after a um, psychotic episode. And it inspired us to write a, you know, policy brief that hopefully will change, um, start to change systems. Um, and we're really fortunate that all of our partners that were a part of this conversation are super engaged in healing this process. So what's the most important thing you learned, would you say? Oh, goodness. Um, that there is systemic issues within our criminal court system, that we are seeing very high rates of black and brown individuals entering the Cook County Jail, entering the criminal court system who have mental health issues far higher than other communities. We've also learned that there is a lot of things that we can do now, that there are low hanging fruits. Mm -hmm. And we realize that this is just a outcome of you know, deinvestment and um, not understanding what is actually happening to people who have chronic medical diseases that are entering into the system. So what needs to be done then to implement these things to fix the system? And is there anything in particular that you think really needs to be the first step to make these changes? Sylvia, you'll probably be sick of people saying this to you when we're talking about policy, but this is really, really critically important that our city, our county, and our state come together in this conversation. You know, we've done a tremendous amount of work with police training and, and diverting individuals into this into the system. But once they get into the system, we have to make sure that judges are trained, that there is significant transparency in our court system. So we as community understand what's going on, that there's capacity building by the state to make sure that there is more investment. So so people don't become so sick um, that there's even an inkling that they would come and uh, be in front of somebody in the law enforcement community. And also that we're really investing in long-term housing and stabilization for individuals, um, that they don't get stuck in this system that is really far too restrictive and inappropriate for them and does not enhance their ability to heal and recover from mental health issues. Alex James, good luck with this. It sounds like you guys have learned a lot of information and you're such a great organization. I love the work that you guys do. So uh, best of luck with all of it. And thanks for joining me this morning. Our viewers can go to NamiChicago.org for more information. Have a great day. Thank you, Sylvia. Coming up.